Hey guys, my name's Matt, and today we're going to be finding out if Live Alive is a good game for you to learn Japanese with. In this video, we're going to go through the first hour or so of gameplay and have a look at what this game is like from the perspective of a language learner. So I'm going to be taking this completely as a learner myself, and I'm going to show you my personal process with how I actually approach the Japanese language, how I go through difficulties, how much I look things up, um, and just kind of going through the process. Hopefully through this kind of video I can also help kind of normalize not knowing everything. It's completely normal not to know absolutely everything, especially when you're starting off a new genre. And so I'll also be sharing some of that as I share along with you guys my journey playing this game in Japanese. So without further ado, let's get into Live Alive. Alrighty, finally I am back. I'm on vacation. My semester just finished at university. I uh, just finished teaching this semester and so now I'm on break for a couple of weeks and so now I'm finally able to have some more free time to enjoy some video games. So hopefully I'll be able to get a bunch of really fun videos like this out um, over the next couple of uh, maybe month or so. Okay, so first um, I'm going to be using the trial version of this game um, just to kind of give a perspective of what this is like because this is actually completely free. So anyone watching this video could actually try this out themselves and see what's available to them. So we can see here that there are three stories um, available in the trial demo and it appears that you can play through the entire character's story which is kind of crazy if you think about it because there's what, three, there's like, I think there's like nine stories in total. So if you can play three, that's you being able to have a third of the game for free. Really? That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but let's find out. So we have these three different stories. So let's go through some of this together because I actually don't know some of this language. So the first one we have here kind of looks like Kofu Hen. I think. Let's find out. So what I'm going to be using in this video is I'm going to use a combination of kanshudo.com to be my dictionary to look things up with. But if there's no clear meaning or perhaps I want to find out more information, what I personally do is I also use the internet and I just Google in the search term and I look it up myself in Japanese so you can actually see how it's used. And to help me read the explanations in Japanese, I'll use a combination of either Yomichan or a really cool app called Tenten. Uh, it's an annoying uh, name to search up. It used to be called like Rikai Champ or Rikai Summer, um, but now it's called 1010. English 10 and then the number 10. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm going to be using right now to find out what this word is. So I think it's Korfu Hen. Let's just have a quick look. Oh, and almost immediately here on the second reading, we can actually see that this is actually Kung Fu. So this is the kanji that's used for kung fu, the martial art. That makes a lot more sense. So that was a really tricky first word that we've come across in this game. Holy cow. <laughs> um, so let's just have a quick look on Google just to verify that it is actually kung fu for this game. So I might just put in um, the word, the kufu, and then I'd put like the game's name, Live Alive, and have a look at what that brings up. Okay, so I've searched up Live Alive um, with Kufu or Kung Fu. <laughs> uh, and we can see that, yeah, it is connected to the game. We can see it is the correct spelling here. Uh, and if we go image search, uh, okay. So it seems to be, yeah, definitely Kung Fu, Kung Fu, Kung Fu, Kung Fu, Kung Fu. So this seems to be one of the stories um, in Live Alive. It's the Kung Fu Hen. And Hen, as we can see, is a compilation of volume. So it's the chapter, right? So the Kung Fu chapter. Okay, so we can see that the first chapter here is the Kung Fu chapter. <laughs> and then next, I believe this is the Bakumatsu. I believe that's the Bakumatsu. I often make the mistake and call it Bakumatsu. <laughs> uh, that's not the name at all. I believe it's Bakumatsu. That's kind of like a Japanese, um, the Bakumatsu period, uh, where, you know, there was a lot of uh, overturn and samurai and ninja and things like that. Let's just quickly check. And yes, indeed, as it says, it is the Bakumatsu, the closing days of the Tokugawa Shogunate, the end of the Edo era. So that was correct there. Okay, so that's very much like kind of like historical Japan chapter. So we have Kung Fu chapter, Bakumatsu chapter for the kind of Edo era, and the SF, which is more sci-fi. So let's pick which one we want to do uh, for the first run here. Sci-fi is a robot. My gut tells me that he's going to talk in katakana only. <laughs> so I'm going to avoid him for now. And I have a choice. I can either do um, the Bakumatsu, very cool ninja, or I can do uh, the Kung Fu. Hmm. Well, they're both historical, so they're both probably going to be relatively difficult. Uh, I'm going to give the Bakumatsu period a go. Let's have a go and see what it's like. Oh, cool. So there's a little bit of an explanation about uh, the actual story. 
So let's have a quick look at that. So here we have Toki wa Bakumatsu. So Toki is the time, wa as for the time, and then Bakumatsu is the era. So the time is the Bakumatsu era. Kono Tenchi. So Kono is this, and then Tenchi I believe is like heaven and earth. This next word though, Dōdan? Let's just quickly check what that is. I would guess that this is kind of like turmoil. It is indeed. So disturbance, commotion, riot, upheaval. Yeah. So it's very much, you know, this period of turmoil, this period of rioting, this period of upheaval. So, Kono Tenchi Doran no Jidai Nimo. Jidai is an error, and then Nimo is also in. Is this Kage Nagara? That doesn't make quite sense. Nagara just by itself means while doing. So, what's this word here? I believe it's Kage. It's like hiding or shadows or something like that. Let's just have a quick look. And yeah, it does appear to be the word Kage for shadows. Background. It could be Hodo for. Oh, it's not that one. Uh, it, could, it could be Yin. Uh, it could be Unseen Location. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's Kage for Shadows. <laughs> so, just to verify this, just to make sure, um, I would often type this into Google, and if it comes up with a result, then it's likely that. So, let's do Kage Nagara. And when I typed it in, it didn't come up with the one I'm looking for straight away. However, I can see in Google Images that it is actually a used word here. Um, there is a Google Image search result, and it says that the meaning is hisokani. Ah, okay, so kind of stealthily, quietly. Cool. So that's really useful. Google Images is really nice for helping in that way. And we can see here the definition. Um, omote date, so openly, dewa nai, not ga. However, hisokani, secretly, Urakata toshite. So urakata is working behind the scenes. Nado no imi. Cool. So yeah, we get it. It means that it's kind of working behind the scenes, being stealthily. Okay. So kage nagara iki tsuzukeru. Ikiru is to live, and then tsuzuku is to continue. So to continue living, to survive. Iki tsuzukeru shinobi. This is the name for a ninja or a shinobi. So shinobi ni. And then we have to aru, and I believe that's. Mm, in there? Let's have a quick look. Ah, okay, so it was actually here, um, Mitsume, for a secret order. So Mitsu is kind of um, being secretly, uh, that's the same kanji used with Hisokani that we saw previously. Um, and then Inochi here for life, um, but it can actually be used like me, mere, when it's read as me, it's often used to talk about an order. So Mitsume is a secret order. So this part here where it says to aru, this means a certain. So a certain Mitsume, a certain secret order, ga, and then we have, I believe this is actually Kudata, not Sagata, as you may think it is. Uh, let's just have a quick look um, in Kanshudo. So this is a tricky one because it can be read in many different ways. And this is actually one of the trickiest kanji uh, because it can be read in so many millions of different ways. Kudata. So the normal one is sagaru, to go down to drop, but kudaru can be to be handed down as in an order. So that's why I thought it was that. So I believe this is the correct one, kudaru. Um, we can see that it's an N2 piece of language and it's used in the top 3000 most useful words. So one really cool thing about kanshudo if you've never used it before is you can see that it has this blue number. That's the JLPT number. So you can immediately know if this is a word that you need to know or not. And then you can actually see the usefulness ranking or the kind of how common that word is. So here we can see that Sagaru is much more likely than Kudaru. Um, it's an N4 versus N2. And it's in the top 1,500 instead of the top 3,000. However, in this case, Kudaru is the one that's being used. Cool, so very simply, if we put it all together, the time is the Bakumatsu era. In this era with this kind of, you know, upheaval lands, the, you know, unsettling times, Kage Nagara, while being in secrecy, the shinobi who live in secret were handed a certain secret mission. Okay, so we can already see that the language is relatively difficult. That would be expected, especially if you're looking at, you know, some sort of historical setting game. I'm just gonna quickly just have a quick look at the, uh, the other one, the Kung Fu one, and, yeah, it also has some really difficult language um, to do with martial arts and kind of historical stuff. And uh, what about the robot? Yeah, and the robot has eh, not too difficult language. Actually, the robot seems to be the most easiest language right now. Interesting. Perhaps I should go down the robot road. <laughs>
Ah, oh, screw it. Let's go down the robot road and see what it's like. All right, so I'm going to try the sci-fi hen and see what it's like. Whoa, very epic. Oh, cool. It's waiting for me. That's great. Okay. Um, so, shook. Oh my god, it is all in katakana. No, 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 no. This is harder than kanji, seriously. I've been studying for over 10 years, and when characters just start talking in katakana only, I just want to <laughs> Persona 3 myself. <laughs> oh my god, why is it so difficult? I don't know. So we have Shuko Kiroku. Shuko Kiroku. Why is that so difficult? Like, it's so, it's such an interesting mystery. All of a sudden, when you make things written in katakana only, it just becomes so much more difficult to, you know, know what's been going on. So, shukko, kiroku is definitely record. What the hell is shukko? Shukko. Departure, clearance of a ship. Ah, kiroku, to record the clearance of a ship, to record departure. Shukko. Ah, it could be setting off here. Sailing, putting out. So maybe it's something to do with departing. See, if there was kanji, that would just make my day. It would make it so much easier for me to know what's going on. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> but if it's like this the whole time, I'm not playing. <laughs> Please, Yumi Tamura, please. Oh, well, you're the designer of the characters, not the story. Very epic beginning, though. For a cute little robot friend. Please go away. Please, please. No, I don't want it. Whoa, that's cool. Why is this so intense? No, please, please, please. Don't be katakana. I don't want to do this all day, every day katakana. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, is that all the characters sleeping on a spaceship? It looks like it. Like, that guy looks pretty anime. Okay. This guy doesn't look too robotic, so hopefully he speaks like a normal person. Very dramatic. Really taking their time. <laughs> Building the atmosphere. Sorry if I'm ruining it with my talking. <laughs> okay, so that's the key for a machine, and then that's kokoro. So that would be like mechanical heart, I guess. Maybe kishin, perhaps? I'm not sure how to read it on the fly like that. Oh, I just remembered they got voice acting. Really slowly booting it up. <sighs> Yay! Voice acting! Talk! Yes. Yes. All right. Kanseda. Kanseda. I'm finished. It's complete. Are? Are? Huh? Okashii na. Okashii na. It's strange. Hen dana. That's pretty strange. Uh, it's a different way of saying it's strange. Hen is just strange. So already we can tell this is much more easier than uh, it was appearing to be in the beginning. Uh, we spent a little bit too much time there. Um, just quickly, I just want to check. Is there like any kind of log? If I press square, what happens? Triangle? I have auto and I have skip. Well, I definitely don't want to do either of those. Um, what about X? That just goes to the next one. Um, so, kore de, with this e is good, hazu is expected, nano ni despite. So, despite it being good with this. So, perhaps he did something to the machine to try and fix it, and he's expecting that it should be okay with what he did. It should now fix the problem. However, it's not the case, so he's kind of complaining with this no ni. Kore de i hazu nano ni. Ah, it should be okay with just this, however. It's moving. Whoa, and so am I. <laughs> Ugoita, ugoita. Ugoita, ugoita. Ugoku is to move, and then ugoita is the past tense form, so he's moved, he's moved! 
Ah, he's cute. Izo, Izo. Izo, Izo. That's good. That's good. Boku no koe ga wakaru kai? Boku no koe ga wakaru kai? Okay, so we've got a boku. <laughs> if you see my、uh, pronoun video, you know that this guy is a little bit more of a youthful man, youthful boy type of character. It doesn't necessarily have to be all the time, but it is. He's a little bit more of a respectful、um, young man. Boku. Uh, is me, and then no koe is my voice, ga wakaru, so wakaru is to understand, and then kai is a yes or no question. So is it that you understand my voice? Boku no namae wa katu da. Sorry, and I've forgotten to use my、uh, highlights, so boku for me, no namae, so my name, and then wa, so as for my name, katu da. It is katu. Cool, so his name is katu. K A T O. Katu. Hmm. Kato. <laughs> But apparently, Katu. Ohio. Ohio. Good morning. Eto. Wow, it's already. This is a lot more approachable, and you can take it at your own speed, so this is really cool. Ah, so ka. Mada namae ga nakatta ne. Ah, I really do wish, though, it had like audio replay. That'd be so much cooler. Ah, so ka. Ah, I see. Mada still namae, your name ga nakatta. You don't have ne, right? So, ah, you still don't have a name, huh? So da na, marui kara. So da na, that's true. Marui, round kara, because so. Hmm, right. Well, you are round, so. Koro. Koro. Ha ha ha. Koro is kind of like koro koro, koro ga t e r u to roll. That's actually、um, kind of the reason why I named my dog Polo,、uh, because I thought it sounded kind of like koro garu、uh, to kind of roll around. It's kind of a cute name, so.、Um, koro and poro. <laughs> いやいしな oh, what the hell? What the hell? He, what? Is that a common name? I didn't know that. That was completely pure coincidence、uh, that he said he didn't want to call the robot Koro because it's not a dog. Is that a normal name? Let's find out. <laughs> so let's go quickly、uh, onto the internet. Is Koro a name? Koro and then Inu Namae. Is that a common name? Koro? アナメにコロという名前の犬が出ていたから。Oh, okay. So apparently there's a dog called コロ in the. Oh, コロくん。It is actually pretty common. I didn't know. Well, I guess it makes sense. It is a kind of cute sounding name. So, ya, no, inu じゃない is not a dog. She is listing more of a reason. So, well, he's not a dog after all. それじゃ丸いけど。So, well, then, Marui, round kedo, however, well, he is round. Isso no koto gyakuni. Isso no koto gyakuni. So, isso no koto, I'm actually not too sure what that means. So, let's just have a quick look.、Um, I'll just go on Kanshudo and just check that up. Isso no koto means rather sooner or preferably. Interesting. That's interesting. It's relatively common, 5,000. I've just never come across it before. All right. So, isso no koto. Ah, interesting. So, actually, after looking it up a little bit more on gu.net.jp, we can see that isso here、um, can actually be kind of the opposite. So, for example, yoso ni hanshita koto o noberu toki ni mochi iru. Kaete. On the contrary, rather instead, or hantai ni, in opposition, you know, to be, do something in the opposite. And so, gyaku actually means the opposite by itself. So, here, actually in reverse, so actually on the, you know, to the contrary, right?、Uh, so, perhaps he's saying that because he's round, maybe he's going to say, maybe I should name something square. Cube. Ah, yes, exactly it. Cube. Okay. So, he's going to call him cube, not、um, koro, because he is round. So, he's going to give him cube for a name instead. Kind of like how you call a big guy a shorty or something like that. <laughs> Mm. Mm. <laughs> いい a good name ga ukabanai means it doesn't float up, right? It doesn't come to his mind. So he can't think of a good name. Ma, Ma, well then, aruki nagara, so we already see nagara again、um, here means while you're doing an action, and then aruki here is to walk, so while walking, kangaeru to suruka. So, 考える is to think, tosuru is to decide to do something, and ka is kind of asking himself a rhetorical question. So,、uh, I guess I'll think about it while I take a walk. Yush, kochi ni oide. Yosh, alright then, kochi ni oide. So, kochi over here, and then oide is to come. So, alright, come over here. You little cutie. 
Why is he wearing a baseball cap and glasses? Does he have eye problems? Oh, he skates! Oh, that's cute. What the hell? A skating golf ball with wings and a baseball cap. Maybe he's a skating baseball, sorry. I can't really tell what he is. <laughs> Whoa, I like the lighting. Man, I, I so wish they make more games like this. I would love to see more games in this kind of graphical style from Square Enix. Like, seriously, this is my favorite. Again, he says, all right, come here. Where are we going, buddy? You're not going to dismantle me, are you? I've been a good droid. It's a very slow chapter, this one. これから from here omae you o so doing something to you kono fune this ship and then no ichiin that's one person toshite as so as a person of this ship todokusuru is to register and then kara is because so he's explaining that i will register you as a member of this ship denaito sennai o jiyu ni arukenai inda Denaito means if I don't do it, uh, and then fune nai, so that is within the ship. Uh, was it fune nai or sen nai, actually? It might be sen nai, I believe. That's probably the reading um, for inside a ship. Let's just quickly check. Yes, it is in indeed. Sen nai is on board a ship. So here, sen nai is on board the ship. So denaito, if I don't, sen nai or, so doing something to on the ship. Jiuni is freely, and then aruke nai, I can't walk. So if you can tell, this is how I personally approach Japanese games. I like to just quickly go through the sentence, look up the word, and then immediately move on. I don't want to spend too long. If it piques my interest, then I might do a little bit further searching, but I certainly don't have to. Ah, so that. Ah, I see. Or, ah, that's right. Oh my god. Ohayo gozaimasu, Kato-san. <laughs> I hate it so much. Screw this. Goyo, Goyo. Why is it so hard? I've been doing this for 10 years. Why is it so hard? <laughs> okay, so join here is like a member of the ship, the crew. And then no shinki is new. Toroku is registration. So a new registration or tanomu. That means I'm requesting. So I'm requesting a new registration of a member for the crew. Kashiko marimashita. <laughs> oh man. Oh, go away, go away, go away, please. Kabetsu? Shubetsu. <laughs> Just. <sighs> yes, please, Cube. Please save me from my embarrassment of not liking katakana. It's really interesting because, like, Japanese people, they will often talk about, you know, how, oh, Japanese is really hard, you know, we have three writing systems, did you know? <laughs> uh, hiragana, katakana, and kanji. And usually people act as though kanji is like this, you know, completely unattainable <laughs> mountain of difficulty. Sorry about that. But actually, it's really the katakana because you never see the katakana, like, in long sentences. For a name, it's easy, like that short dose, kato, super easy. But when you see, like, a whole sentence written in katakana, you're just like, kill me. <laughs> okay, kore there with this heia ni, so to the room, and then deiri, I believe. Uh, deiri is to come and go. Dekiru yo ni natta, you're able to do. So you're now able to come and go in the room. Jibun no namae wa wasurecha dame da yo. So, jibun is one's own, name is a name. Wasurecha dame means that it's bad, you cannot forget, right? If you forget, it's bad. Wasurecha dame. It's just a casual way of saying, don't forget. So, don't forget your own name. Kojin no heya wa sore zore security kanri o okonat te irun da kedo. Kojin no heya, so kojin is individual heya, is rooms. As for individual rooms, sore zore each of them, security kanri, so security management, o okonat te irun da kedo. We are, you know, taking place, there is security management taking place in each of the individual rooms. However, hairu toki wa, as for when you go in, doa no mae de, so in front of the door, namae no nyuryoku o otomerareru kara ne. So namae no nyuryoku, namae is your name, nyuryoku is to kind of input, and then motomerareru means that it will be seeked. So it will be kind of asked for you to input your name. 
and that's why you shouldn't forget your name, right? So, heya no de iri de, so with coming and going inside your room, komata toki wa, komaru is to be in trouble, toki when, so as for when you're in trouble or when you're kind of, you know, you have an issue um, going in and out of your room, tori aezu, for the time being, doa no hidari panel o shirabete gora. Doa no hidari panel, so doa is the door, hidari is left, panel is the kind of panel, and then o, so we're doing something to that panel, and then shirabete goran. Now, shiraberu is to investigate, to search, to check, and then te goran is actually the keigo, the polite way of saying te miru, to try and do something. So try investigating the panel on the left side of your door. Moichido, one more time, yoka. Shall I say? So, shall I say that one more time? Nah, I'm fine. I can say hi, yes, or ye, no. Oh, and he talks in katakana, I can tell. I've made a great mistake. Jatsugida. <laughs> well then, next. Kondo wa Kondo wa, so as for this time or as for next time, which can get really confusing. Jibun de by yourself tsuite kurunda. Now, because he's saying this time, kondo, eh, it doesn't really make much sense. So it's automatically next time, right? Um, kondo can mean this time, but it can also mean next time. <laughs> Here it's probably next time because he's saying that, you know, the next time you come to your room, do it by yourself. Kono floor no doko ka ni boku ga iru kara sagashite gora. Kono floor, so on this floor, no dokoka, somewhere, ni, so somewhere on this floor, boku ga iru, I am here, kara, because, and then sagashite goran, please search for me. Alright, cutie. Okay, this is a really slow start uh, chapter, sorry guys. <laughs> no! No, don't take away the voice acting, ah oh, man. I'm just gonna skip the non-voice acting. Man, I was hoping this game had full voice acting. Damn it. I really want there to be more games with voice acting. I'm always on the hunt for games, new and old, that have voice acting in Japanese. It's such a great thing. Particularly for Game Gengo, but... Sa, <laughs> koko da. Well then, here. Kore kara boku no nakama tachi wo shoukai suri yo. Kore kara from here, boku no nakama tachi. So boku, me, no... Nakama tachi is my allies, my friends, my pals, o shoukai suru. I will introduce. Kono doa no muko wa cold sleep room to itte ne. Hmm, interesting. So, kono doa, this door, no muko, on the other side, wa, as for on the other side of this door. And then we have cold sleep room to itte ne. So, the cold sleep room is what it's called. Hmm. Interesting. Cold sleep room. That sounds quite uh, odd. Ah, well, that makes sense. <laughs> so, nagai, a long. Uchu is space. Uchu no tabi means a space journey. No tame ni for the sake of. So, for the sake or for the purpose of a long space journey. Koko de, here. And then we have, I believe it was, reto suimin. Uh, which should be kind of like frozen hibernation, frozen sleep, ni hairunda, you enter into. Um, so let's just quickly check, just make sure, I don't want to be uh, you know, teaching the wrong Japanese. So first we have the first word here is uh, reto, I believe, and then suimin. Let's check that out. Okay, so it is indeed reto here um, for freezing. And then was it suimin? Yep, it looks to be suimin. Um, for sleep as well. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so I had that right. So it's kind of a you know, frozen hibernation or frozen sleep. Sate, omae ni tanomi ga aru. Sate, well then, omae ni to you tanomi ga aru. I have something I want you to do. Nemutte iru minna wo okoshite hoshi in da. Ah, okay. So, nemutte iru minna. Nemuru is to sleep, minna, everyone. So, everyone who is sleeping. O okoshite hoshi in da. Okosu is to wake up. Te hoshi means I want you to do a certain action. So we can see here, I want you to wake them up. Tanamuyo. Tanamuyo, I'm counting on you. Cool, okay. All right, so everyone's in the cold sleep room. Let's wake up the old man. Cold sleep unit, a cold sleep unit. Name tag ga aru, it has a name tag. I feel like maybe this would be the best chapter to do last. Wait, who the hell are you? You're not the old kung fu man. Is that Terra from Final Fantasy VI? 
Nope, it's a guy. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, you're not voice acted, so you, I have no purpose for you. You mean nothing to me. <laughs> oh, is this Terra? No, it's uh, the other one, Tina. No, that's, that is Terra. Okay, maybe these are not the characters at all, because they all look completely different than what I thought they were. Good morning. Ohio. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sono choshida. Sono choshida. Just like that cube. Minasan, ohayou gozaimasu. So far, the language is actually pretty approachable for a beginner. Um, none of the language has been too difficult in this story. I actually chose this version instead of the um, Japanese and Chinese ones because I figured that they would have a little bit more tricky, like historical language, and that seemed to be right. The downside of this one is that uh, this story has katakana speech. Um, so that will be a challenge for almost anyone unless you're a katakana master then uh, I have nothing but respect for you because <laughs> I still have trouble with it minna san ohayou gozaimasu good morning everyone I gotta start just like reading katakana books that way I can power up when I play Pokemon just make it katakana only mode or something <laughs> that was um that was um that was that was kata that was kakashi from naruto I think that voice I wish I could replay. Yato finally kanseishita is to complete, no ka is it. So have you finally finished? Have we finally, you know, completed? Eh. Watashi wa Rachel yo. Yoroshiku ne. Watashi wa Rachel. My name is Rachel. Yoroshiku ne. Um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <sighs> that really does sound like Kakashi, I think. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ore wa Kaku da. No, 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 you are Kakashi. Ore wa Kaku da. Ara Hyu ittara, mada neboketeru wa. Ara is kind of like showing surprise. Hyui is his name. Tada is kind of a, it's almost an effeminate way of ending a, a name of something to kind of show exasperation towards someone. Let's just quickly check, um, make sure what that kind of usage is so you can get a really clear um, understanding of the Tada because I don't think I did a good job explaining just now. <laughs> um, so Tada, we can see here, indicates supposition. No, here it is. Indicates exasperation. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Um, so when after someone's name, it kind of shows that they're kind of exasperated at the person. So, oh, Huey. Mother, still, and then neboketeru. Um, you know, to be asleep, to be half asleep. So love that guy's voice. <laughs> That's Kakashi, definitely. And actually, I just remembered that um, Zone of the Enders is also voiced by the same voice actor. That makes me want to play Zone of the Enders a little bit more. Soreja, well then, hitotsu one kubu ni, so two um, cube, yatsu o okoshite morauka. I guess I'll have you wake him up. Oh, I'm going to wake up Huey. I see. Wake up. I don't have hands. Hmm. <laughs> Kaku. Mm. <sighs> Okay, he's having a dream about Kirk. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was, that, was, uh, that was some tricky language just now. Soyate, just like that. Hito no nani? What was that? Let's check. So I have so little idea of what that is. I'm actually going to have to use the kanji input to try and look this up. It looks like Makura. Let's just try that. Makura. Oh, it was Makura. Cool. Okay, well, then I don't have to use my trick. Makura, and that's Moto. So, original. What does that mean? Makura Moto. Bedside. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. Uh, Makura Moto o. Oh, and then. Was that Ketobasu? To like to kick flying? Ketobasu. Nice. Okay, so Ketobasu is to kick away. So, to kick away a person's bedside pillow. No wa yamerote. I told you to stop. Interesting. Mae ni mo itta daro. Mae ni mo, so also previously itta, I said daro, right? I'm not Kirk. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so we seem to have. Uh... Nanda. Nanda, what the? Yo, Huey. Hey, Huey. Chan to okiteru ka? Chan to okiteru ka? Are you awake properly? So it's a katu ga tsukutte ta. Ah, I love his voice so much. It's so soothing. Soitsu wa, as for him, uh, Katu ga tsukutte ta. Katu is the one who made. And then Re no Roboto. He is that robot that Kato made. Mm hmm? Huh? Ro Roboto? Roboto? Tomo arigato, ah. Mr. La 
It is a very slow. Boku no na wa Hyui da. Boku no na wa. So here, instead of him saying boku no namae, he just says boku no na. Um, this is a little bit、um, more of a short way of saying it.、Um, especially you'll see this used in anime, video games,、um, things like that. I'm not sure if people use that normally though. Usually people would just say namae. I haven't really encountered someone who introduces themselves just with na before. That guy looks fun. Das gocho. Das gocho. Was that gocho? The hell's that? <laughs> Honorable leader? Ah, it's corporal. I see, that makes sense. So, go is for five. This is actually the old kanji for five.、Um, and then cho is a leader. So, a corporal. Maybe like the fifth rank. I don't, I don't know what a corporal is,、uh, but it's it, fifth. Leader, right? So it's kind of like almost looks like it's the fifth rank. Perhaps that's what a corporal is. I'm not sure. If you know, leave a comment down below and let me know. <laughs> Omezame wa ikaga desu? Omezame is、uh, waking up. Wa ikaga desu. So how was it? <laughs> Cold sleep kara kibun yoku mezame da nante. Kita koto ga nai ga ne. It's got some good voice actors.、Um, so, cold sleep kara, so from cold sleep, kibun yoku, kibun is your feelings, yoku is good, so good feeling. Mezameta nante, so the things such as waking up in a good feeling, kita koto ga nai. I've never heard of such a thing. So, I've never heard of anyone waking up from cold sleep feeling good. Gocho. Gocho, corporal. Katu ga tsukutte ta robot ga kanse shitan desu. Katu ga tsukutte ta robot ga kanse shitan desu. So the robot that Katu made is finished. Namai wa. His name is. Shokai nado e. Shokai nado e. So shokai introduction nado things like e is okay. So pretty much saying, I don't need any introductions. He kind of sounds like Madara a little bit. Daga. Sorry that all, my, <laughs> that all my comparisons and voice actors are from Naruto. <laughs> Daga, however. So, Soitsu is that guy more also. Kono fune, this ship no naka inside. O kateni of their own volition, free will. Arukimawaru to walk around. No ka. Big question. So, is it that this guy is also able to walk around freely of his own will around the ship? せいぜい邪魔にならないようしつけてほしいものだな。せいぜい、so, you know, doing your best. 邪魔にならない、so, so that he doesn't become a hindrance. Your is here in order to. しつけ or しつける is to kind of train something. しつけてほしい、I want you to train him. And then we have ものだな、so it's something that you should do. So, I want you to make sure that he, you know, doesn't get in my way. ブリーフィングがあるんだろう。Briefing ga aru n daro. So, briefing is the briefing ga aru, we have daro, right? And then, watashi wa, as for me, saki ni iku. And I keep forgetting to use my pen, I'm sorry. <laughs> I will get used to it, I promise. Sasuga gunjin. Ishi atama ne. So, sasuga, as expected, and then、uh, gunjin, I think, military person. And then, ooh, ishi atama. So, that's kind of stubborn. I think. Rock headed, right? Let's check. Ishi Atama. Indeed, Ishi Atama is an inflexible person. Someone who is stubborn pig headedness, hard headed like a rock. Nani, kinisunda. Nani, what? Kinisunda, don't worry about it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the other、uh, version, the other story, and kind of have a look at what the language like is in that. Because in this right now, in the sci fi version,、um, it's relatively simple. It's quite stale. There's no music whatsoever. So sorry, guys, it's been quite boring.、Um, and also, that it's been a lot of katakana. So that's a little bit of a challenge. So let's now try out the Kung Fu chapter and see what that's like. Okay, so let's have a look.、Um, should we try the Japanese or the Chinese, the ninja or the Kung Fu?、Um, let's try the ninja because that was actually what I was going to originally do.、Uh, I was going to try that out first before I decided that the kanji was a little bit hard. So. Bakumatsu hen o hajime masu ka? Should we begin the Bakumatsu story or chapter? Yes! Awesome little ninja. Okay, I'll try my best to make sure that I use the pen. <laughs> If I forget, y u r i s h i k u r a s a i please forgive me. Okay, what's it like? Pwah! Epic! <laughs> awesome!
Mm. Oh, I'm already liking this a lot more than the sci-fi. <laughs> Some weird ass Akatsuki or something. <laughs> and yes, I apologize for all my references being Naruto. <laughs> ah, yes, that voice actor! This guy is my favorite voice actor. I love this guy so much. Um, I believe he's actually the guy who does the intros for Clone Wars, uh, the Star Wars series, the Japanese dub. Uh, he's also the voice in uh, Gintama, who's like the kind of chief. He's very uh, kind of voice. So, Machi Kaneta, um, I've been waiting for a long time. Shubi wa doja. Shubi wa doja. Shubi. Is that kind of following someone? Let's check. So, Shubi is. Oh. Issuing something. Beginning and end. Dealing with something successfully. Oh, saved by 1010. That's much. That's probably what it is. Dealing with something successfully. Shubi, when used with a pseudo verb, it's to do something successfully. So let's now have a look at the game. Mm, shubi wa doja. Mm, that's probably not it. It's probably just how is the course of events, right? How are things going? So already a little bit difficult. Um, shubi, let's have a look. How common is that word? Oh my God. Look at that. It has a nine. So that's incredibly rare. I believe that's... Not even a hundred thousand? Fifty thousand. It's the fifty thousand most useful word. So not super useful. Already starting off with the Japanese version. Oh my god, that voice, I love it. Uh, it kind of reminds me of uh, the the dragon in Dragon Guard has that kind of voice that really gets to your spine. <laughs> Um, so what is this right here? So we have Tasho, I believe that's a little bit, and then we have Tekozuri. Okay, so Tekozuru here is to have trouble, to doing something, having a hard time. And then Tasho is a little bit, let's just double check, Tasho is a little bit, yep, more or less, somewhat, a few, some, a little. Yep, so a little bit, uh, we're having a little bit of difficulty. Okay, so Yoyato here is finally at last. Torairu is to capture. Kotoni, so in the thing of finally being able to capture him. Seiko shimashita. So we succeeded. So they succeeded in finally capturing someone. <laughs> See, like this sentence this always end in the <laughs> so exaggerated. I love it. So Kuku Kuku is laughing. Tsuini, finally. Waga, so my, and then Tenaka is inside my hand. Ochitaka, it fell in. Maybe it's not a person. Um, let's have a look. He seems to have obtained something. Oh, and just a quick one. It's not Tenaka. Um, it is Shuchu. So that's in one's hands. Um, so in my hands, it has finally uh, fell. <laughs> oh wow, so this guy's like a puppet monster? I'm sorry, this is so Naruto right now, this is crazy. <laughs> okay, so Sudeni is already, Karakuri Ningyo is kind of a mechanical puppet. Mo also, Kansei Shiteru Degozaru. So Kansei Shiteru, as we know, is to be completed. And then Degozaru is just the kind of um, super kegel way of just saying des. So um, I've already finished um, making the mechanical puppets. Oh, interesting. Ato wa, as for what is remainder. And then we have kawa, that's like skin, right? The skin, the, the leather, the skin. And then hagu is actually to kind of peel, right? To pull. So kawa or hagu here, we can see is to skin something, to peel. So skinning, peeling, maybe skin, I'm not sure what, but we're peeling something. Nakami, the insides, or, and then ire kaeru. So that is to kind of change, to replace, dake only. So we only have to replace the insides after peeling the skin off or something like that. 
Okay, so your ake here is dawn or daybreak. And then we have totomo ni, which is together with. And then torikakaru here is to begin, to set about, to start. So we will start, you know, at dawn break. Mm. <laughs> Even his mm is over exaggerated. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, my God. Okay, so already this is clearly, my intuitions were right. This is much more difficult than the robot version. Um, I would recommend if you're a beginner, perhaps start with the robot version, not um, the Japanese one. Um, it's a little bit tricky. So Tamashi is the soul. Uh, tamashi no ho, so as for the soul. Zehi, so certainly. Warawa, my God. Uh, I feel like that's a pronoun, um, warawa, but I'm still not sure, so let's check. Warawa, warawa is, hmm, yes, it is here, archaic, humble, female pronoun. Wow, okay, that one didn't make it into my uh, pronoun video. Warawa, and we can see that it uses the kanji for watashi, um, but it's read as warawa, and it's very, very rare. So, wow, there you go. So, super rare language here. Um, being used in this version. Warawa ni, so to me, and then kudasai mashi, please give it to me. Super tough language. This is a seriously tough uh, version. So, chikagoro, as we can see, means lately, recently, or nowadays. Iki no i, iki here being for kind of liveliness, and then i is good, so something that's very lively. And then what is this? Dono kata, I think? Let's just check what that is. Dono kata, is that what it is? Dono, is that dono? It is dono. And is that dono kata? It is dono gata. Okay, so gentlemen, men. Interesting, it's a female term. Huh. Dono gata. Donokata. Female term. I wonder why it's a female term. That's quite interesting. However, not common enough for me to warrant doing a Google search, so I wouldn't search that one up. Um, so, Chikagoro wa, so as for uh, recently, Iki no i donogata, so, you know, um, those men who are quite lively, o kuro te orimasenu yue. Oh my god. So, um, ku is to eat. Kuro. Let's have a look. What does that mean? Interesting. I'm not sure what this is. Um, Kanshudo has no idea and neither does Tenten. So what I would do in this situation is I would just do a very quick Google search. If nothing comes up, then it's probably really rare and it doesn't really matter. Interesting. So I found a bit here on Yahoo that's asking about kuro in Japanese. So this might be useful. So what I would probably normally do is just have a quick look. Let's have a quick look. Now, as you can see, I'm using 1010, so I can always just quickly look things up quite simply. So here their answer is, mm, okay, kuro te is kurao te, which is kurate. So it's just the te form of kurao, to eat. Um, to receive, to, you know, consume something. So, oh my god, that's super difficult. So in the past, this used to be a kind of way of speaking. So omota, that small tsu, that break, used to actually be omota. And warata, for example, would be warauta. So that's actually probably easier for us uh, learners of Japanese because we just say the word normally and add the te form. Um, however, um, that's what it used to be. Um, so it's kind of an old way of saying that's not really used too much. However, it might be used sometimes in Kansai Ben, um, but it's not necessarily super useful. And then finally here, yue here is just kind of a reason. So it's kind of like ryu. So we can tell super difficult language. My God, that is not easy. Uh, I would not recommend this uh, chapter if you're a beginner of Japanese at all. <laughs> <laughs> 
を再び戦乱のようにすることができる。わー !Even the old word for Japan! That's crazy! So, これで、with this, この、this, and then, ひのもと。And so, as we can see here on kanshudo.com, ひのもと。Is a kind of archaic way of saying Japan, and it's relatively rare、um, with a usefulness of seven, which makes it in the top 20,000. So, not necessarily a super useful word、um, to learn, but it's just the archaic version of Nihon. So, we're doing something to Nihon, this country. Futatabi means again. Senran is kind of war and chaos, no yo, so the world of you know, war. Nisuru. To make koto ga dekiru, something we can do. So, with this, we can make the world, you know, Japan,、um, in chaos and war once again. <laughs> awesome voice actor. Okay, now we're gonna have some music because we've had nothing but silence for so long. Jesus? <laughs> oh, yakata sama. Ah, difficult, difficult language. Oh, yakata sama. Yakata is like a, a house or an inn or a. What the hell's going on? Let's find out what Yakata is. Maybe that's the person's name? Yakata Summer. So. Hmm. Nobleman? Interesting. Looking up or Yakata Summer, we get、um, just this character from, I believe, Kimetsu no Yaiba.、Um, so. What does that mean? No idea. But perhaps it's. Oh, Master of the Mansion. Thank you, Google. <laughs>、uh, okay, so it's talking about the master of the mansion. That makes sense.、Mm. There we go. There's his name. Thank God. Okay, so Oyakata seems to be his name. So, Hitoashi is just kind of a short while, and then Osokata be late. So, you were late a little bit. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, guys, I'm sorry, but this game is pretty difficult. <laughs> What is Kakunaru? Kakunaru? Kakunaru ue wa. Now that it's come to this, since that it's come to this. Interesting. So that's quite a difficult piece of language.、Um, no, no ranking at all. So this is definitely challenging. So, Kakunaru ue wa. So, as it's come to this, Kono wa tashi me ga. Me to have done something. Aseru de nai hayate. <laughs> aseru denai, so don't, aseru, don't, you know, get flustered or in a rush. And then Hayate is his name.、Um, so that's the person. Interesting. A ton of super difficult language. Tomoku here is a chief, a head, or a leader. It has no ranking, so it's incredibly rare. Tomoku no Aruji, I think, is a master. Let's just check Aruji. Or maybe Shujin, Omo, Aruji. I'm gonna guess Aruji, the head of a household. I can't actually remember what he said. Maybe you can rewind and find out, but I'm gonna guess it's Aruji. Ga, inochi is the life. Otosu is to drop or here to lose, to lose one's life. Inochi otosu. Then Waga, our. And then we have Fire Ninja Unit.、Um, I can't remember what that was read as. So I actually can't remember how this is read. So maybe you can find that just by rewinding. But in this instance, I would just move on. It's not that important. It's just, you know, the flame magic ninja group. Who cares?、Um, maybe it's Honoma Ningun, perhaps, but I'm not sure. What do naru? How will it turn out? Okay, so it is actually Nushi, is what he's saying, not Aruji. Nushi ni ikaseru kurai naraba. So, Nushi here is kind of the head of a household, an owner, a leader. And then, ni ikaseru is to make go, kurai, you know, that much, naraba, if it's the case. So, if it's that, you're going to make, you know, the head leader go. Kono oibore ga iku. Kono oibore, so he's kind of an old man, you know, an old timer. Ga ikua, I will be the one that is going to go. Hoka ni wa orumai? Hoka ni wa, so as for others, orumai, do they exist? It's still used in Kansai Ben,、um, but it's just the more kind of, you know, it could be humble way of speaking. It can also be just an old Kansai Ben or here an old Japanese style, more traditional way. So orumai. So is there anyone else? <laughs> 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 so, 
he's got a good voice actor too. Is that Gintama? I think that's Gintama. Um, Kore hodo to this amount. And then Mitsu Me. So as we know already, that's a secret mission. And then Konaseru Mono Nado. So Konaseru is to be able to pull off or accomplish. And then Mono is a person. So Nado things like. So someone who can pull off, you know, a secret mission like this. <gasps> yeah, orimasu. Oh, yeah, no, orimasu zo. So orimasu means they exist, it's iru, and then zo is the emphatic yo. Definitely, definitely, definitely difficult. Um, I'm finding myself having to look up almost every sentence, something that I'm not sure about. Um, and that's because I don't really read too much of this kind of historical Japanese type stuff because, well, I just haven't really been interested in it doing it yet. I've kind of been more focused on like uh, kind of Western style, like Game of Thrones and Triangle Strategy and things like that. So Imada, not yet. And then we have Arakezuri. So I've never seen this word before, but it means here incomplete, unrefined, still in the process of being formed. Arakezuri de wa arimasuru ga. Oh my god. I absolutely do not recommend a beginner use this version. Um, there is way too complicated language um, that is just going to blow your head off. <laughs> um, but here, arimas is to exist, and then we have arimasuru. So here, it's kind of a more archaic way of talking. Mikomi mi oite wa. So mikomi is kind of hope or anticipation, looking forward to something, seeing potential. Ni oite wa. So um, as for having that, ichiban no mono. So number one person is. Ho ho. Shite sono mono no na wa. Ha. Soyatsu no na wa. Soyatsu that no namae. So his name is. Oh, and the main character. Cool. Okay, so. Oboro Maru. Ni gozaimasu. Oh, yatsuka. Sassuku yonde maire. Oh, that guy. Please call him at once. Ya, yatsu no koto. Sude ni kite oru koto to. No, actually, that guy should already be here. <laughs> oh, you're hiding in the roof, huh? Sati. <laughs> Well then, I shall give you the secret mission. You understand the inside, right? So you understand the contents of it, right? Ha, yes. Or, ima ichido. So one more time. Ha, I understand. Ha. Dewa yuke. Yes, dewa. Well then, yuke, go. Okay. Shibashi matei. Shibashi matei. So shibashi is a little bit, and then mate, matei is mate. Wait, what's shibashi? For a short while, I think. Let's just quickly check. Yep, yep. So shibashi here is for a short while, for a brief period. So wait, uh, just for a short bit. Just wait a bit. So I will give you my secret abilities. Okay, Kakuremi no Jutsu. Oh, oboita. And so Kakuremi no Jutsu is uh, here, the ninja art of camouflage. Um, so this is definitely the version if you're a big fan of Naruto and you have a pretty high level of Japanese. Um, so Kakuremi, as we can see here, is vanishing from sight and no Jutsu is the technique of vanishing, right? So if you know Naruto, for example, you'll often see, you know, Kagebunshin no Jutsu. Uh, that, that no Jutsu is the technique of something, right? So here it is um, Kakuremi no Jutsu, the art of hiding oneself. Teki ni owareta toki nado ni tsukau ga yoi. Teki ni owareta toki, so teki ni, so by the enemy, owareta toki when you're chased, nado ni, things like why or Skull, use why ga yoi. It would be good if you did. Skatteruida, so while you're using it, keshiki to, so with the scenery, ittai tonari, you become one with the scenery. Mi o kakusu, to hide yourself, koto ga dekiru, you're able to do, and then hijutsu is the secret art of. So it's the secret art of, you know, hiding oneself together with the scenery. 
Damn, so much tricky language. So ima wa as for now, and then we have ikoko araso. So that means it's a race against time. Ikoku here is a minute, and then, um, as we can see, iko is a minute, and then araso is to compete. So we're competing against time itself, competing against, you know, the minutes. Jisen de, so in real battle, tamesu, to try out, ga yoi, you should. So it would be good if you tried it out in battle, because we don't have much time, you should really just, you know, try it out by using it. Nushinara, tsukai konaseru daro. Nushinara, so if it's you, tsukai konaseru, you'll be able to, you know, do it using it well, daro, I'm sure. Dewa, yukei! Dewa, yukei! <laughs> well then, go! And still no music! Oh my god, this has probably been over. Tanamuzo, I'm counting on you. It's almost an hour, I think. Probably has been an hour and no music whatsoever. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so we made it now to the introduction. Tokyo Bakumatsu. The time is the Bakumatsu. Music! Okay, can't pause this. It just, it just goes on without it. So Oh, that was the word! I didn't pay attention, I was looking at what he was writing on, but that was that word, that fire thing. Ah, oh, nice music! Why don't they have music in the intro? I guess it's to build the scene or something. Mitsume. Music! Yes! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Oh, man. I should just start the video from here. <laughs> Damn. What? A little flying kite man. Oh, I love this. I love how it's like, it's such a classic art style. Kind of like, it, it lets your imagination kind of go wild a bit, a little bit. Kind of fill in the gaps. No! Talk! <laughs> Don't text! Talk! <laughs> Damn it! Okay, we have a map. Cool. And I can move. Whoa! Okay, so the Y button was... The... Oh, nice menu. Very cool looking. Oh, I love those sounds. Okay. Mitsume nado stete shimaoka. So are you going to throw away your secret mission? No, I'm not going to throw it away. Damn, that is so difficult language. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. You would have to be an enthusiast in kind of ancient Japan to know everything that they're saying. It is so old school, like traditional, really archaic language. Hi. Awesome, we have some gameplay, finally. <laughs> okay, Tatakal, A. Okay, we got a fire attack. Let's do it. Maidu! Maidu! Oh, I love the music so much. Oh, I burnt myself! Oh, I suck. It's a cool game. It's cool. It's um doesn't have as much voice acting as I was hoping for. 
Are they going to follow me in? Wow, that was such a Xenogears sound just then. Made me want to start playing Xenogears. Actually, that is something I would like to do. Um, maybe like start playing some other games as well. Um, My even if they don't have voice acting, you know, but like just some of the older games would be really cool. I would love to play some actual Final Fantasy like 7, 8, 9 um, in this kind of style, kind of more chill uh, uh, gameplay. I think that'd be really fun. Wait, he's counting how many people he's killed. Okay, so maybe he wants to become the Batosai. <laughs> Kimura Kenshin. Oh no. Hey, this is like the first sentence that actually has normal Japanese. Dewa, <laughs> well then, kono jikan, this time no ai kotoba, so that's kind of a password, or kakunin suru, we will kind of confirm. Yama! Mountain! Ka! River! Imo! Potato! Shibata! <laughs> Shibata, I screwed up! Ksemono, hitorai! Whoa, what is that? You knave! <laughs> you peculiar person. You idiosyncratic person. That's a normal word to use in daily life. <laughs> and then it's hitorae. 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 What in the world is that? Hitoraeru's to be arrested, to be captured, to be seized. What? So what they're saying, capture him? Because he's an idiot? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's why. Because they were trying to use the I called about the password to find out who was good or bad. So actually he was calling him a scallion, a, a rascal, a, a kind of scoundrel, a bad guy. Kono ai kotoba, this password ga areba, if we have it, teki ka mikata ka, so whether you're an ally or an enemy, suguni immediately wakaru, we can understand. Dewa ono no mochiwae! Dewa, well then, and then ono no is each, and then mochiba e is two, um, your workstations. Kane no ne o kiki no gasu de naizo! Kane no ne o kiki no gasu de naizo. So don't fail to hear the sound of the bell. Okay, so this is a pretty cool version. Um, I quite like it. It's very fun. However, the language is ridiculously hard. And I would definitely recommend um, that if you're not too confident in your Japanese, pretty much anyone really, um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend playing uh, this one first or really much at all, unless you're really passionate about, uh, you know, this kind of language. But it is pretty cool. Uh, and it definitely could help you if you want to read like Naruto manga or something like that. Um, but what I'm going to try out next finally is uh, the third chapter um, with the Kung Fu chapter. So I'm going to try out the Kung Fu chapter and see what that's like. Okay, so now let's try the final stage, the Kung Fu uh, chapter. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look. Let's get right into it. Let's have a look at what the language is like in this. So if you guys really want to see more of, of this game, feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section below. And I'll try and actually cover a whole chapter um, of a game if I can, um, or at least as much as I can. Or at least as much as I can in one video. <laughs> Okay, this time has has music, that's good. <laughs> I should have done this in the first place. The name of that Kempo is... Okay, and that is a very difficult to read name. So, I'm getting a lot of difficult vibes. Every chapter so far has some difficulties whether it's katakana with the robots or it's just ancient archaic language with the history stuff um this game may be a, a difficult game to learn japanese with
だが清流も場合によっては岩尾も砕く激流となる。肉体より精神に重きを置き人としての強さを追求する憲法それがこの憲法であったうん。Was that 心の憲法 ?Can't remember.Ooh, okay. <gasps> Okay, well, this is a lot more straight into, the, straight into the action. The other ones took like an hour to get to the actual,、uh, you know, music and everything. Let's have a look. He's gonna smash the rock. Yahari d a m e k a Yahari, as expected, d a m e no good, ka, I guess. So, huh, no good, I guess. What, it's gonna like break apart when he walks away or something? He leaves the scene. E okay, we have some difficult language here. So, more higher already. Ikoku,、um, we saw previously, was、um, a moment, right? So, being late. Let's just double check what Ikoku here is. Yep, so Ikoku here is a moment. And then we have. What was that? Oh, I can't remember. In fact, I can't even remember how to read it. So, what I'm going to do here is use another technique that I use when I don't know how to read a kanji. I'll actually write the kanji in. Now, you have a choice. You can use it with your phone if you have your phone nearby. Super easy to just hand write. If you have a computer, that's also、um, easy to write. You can just use、um, the IME handwriting pad. If you don't have one, you can always just install a Japanese keyboard to your computer and then you can easily access the handwriting and just write it with your mouse. I have a Samsung Note, however. And for this very reason, is why I bought this phone. <laughs> so、uh, for me, it's super simple. I just turn my keyboard to Japanese and I just write it directly in. So let's write this. What is that? Kanji? No, it's not Neko. <laughs> so I seem to have miswritten it. Let's try again. Got him. Okay, now what is that? Yu yo. Postponement, deferment, grace, an extension of time. Yu yo. Let's have a look at Yu yo、um, on actual Kanshudo so you guys can all see、uh, what Yu yo is. Hmm. Yu yo ku mo naran would be the same thing as Yu yo ku naku without delay and without a moment's delay, right? So already without a moment's delay. Kono karada ga yu koto o kiku uchi ni yu da ne ne ba naran. この体、this body が言うことを聞くうちに、so before or while it's hearing what you say, and then was it you だねばなら、you だねる、what is you だねる、to entrust a matter. So I must leave it to my body while I can still follow instructions. This is a tricky one.、Uh, I gotta admit, this is a tricky one. So maybe what you could do. Um, is you can actually try typing the sentence into DeepL, for example. Now, DeepL is not 100% accurate. It's not something to rely on all the time, but it might help you just give a gist of what the sentence is trying to say if you're kind of missing a certain piece. Something I might do sometimes if I'm just like, what the hell's going on? I can't quite put the pieces together. Let's see if DeepL can do a better job. It doesn't always have the ability to do a better job, but just sometimes it can. So. Okay, and so DeepL here says, I must trust this body while it listens to me. I must give in while this body listens. Hmm, doesn't quite make sense. And it's actually very similar to where my brain was going. It's like, it's kind of a weird sentence. Kono karada ga yu koto kiku uchi ni. So while my body listens to what I have to say, and then we have yu da neba nara nai, I need to entrust. So what are we entrusting? Are we entrusting some secret? Mastery of a martial art, or、uh, are we entrusting something else? I'm not sure what we're entrusting, so maybe that's why it's a little bit unclear. But here he's saying that he needs to entrust something while his body still listens to him. Ah, yep. So, tsioi karada to, so tsioi strong karada body, to with, so with a strong body, kokoro o motta wakamono, so、um, a young person who has heart. Wanga kempo. Ah, finally, he tells us what he is, y u d a n e r u He tells us at the very end <laughs> he needs to entrust Waga Kempo. So here、um, it has、um, the 
this is his martial art. Okay, so he's an old man trying to leave behind his martial art to someone. Cool. Interesting story. Denshaw, I think. Succession, I think it is. Yay, I was correct. Denshaw is handing something down. Folklore. Handing something down. Music? Please? <laughs> Still no music, damn it. Okay, so no matter where you go, you have no music, but at least this is really quick to getting to the pace. Still music, yay. Okay, so right now, as far as like gameplay goes, I'd probably say this one's the most um, accessible because it's straight into it. However, there is a bit of a cutscene at the beginning that makes it a little bit more difficult to... Um, you know, get into. Um, it makes it a bit difficult for, you know, language learners to actually see everything. Um, the robot one is the most accessible in terms of language itself. And the ninja one, I'd stay away from if I were you. It's pretty tough. This is probably also going to be quite tough, though. Um, just to be completely honest. I don't expect this one to be super easy. Um, in fact... It, it, it does depend on your personal, you know, history and what you're interested in. But personally, maybe because I have lots of experience with Game of Thrones and Arslan Senki, but I find um, Triangle Strategy actually easier than um, the the ninja, <laughs> the ninja one. And I find Near Automata easier as well. So I'd say the ninja is pretty difficult. Kui Nigata! Kui Nigata! So he um, ate and ran away. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one. This is so much more interesting. It's so cool. It's so much personality and fun. <laughs> Come on, it. <laughs> Darika, someone, Teo Kasu is to lend a hand, so won't someone lend me a hand? He will uh, give us a feast of his restaurant if we help. And everyone gets involved. <laughs> so, Tsuini, finally, Tsukamaeta. I've caught you, Zor is emphatic. Sa, well then, ima made up until now, no daikin, so the amount of money from up until now, mimi soroete, haraete morao ne. Okay, so I'll have you pay, but what is this mimi soroeru? Hmm, to line up your ears. That's an interesting one. Let's have a look. Ah, I see, all at once. Interesting, all in one go. So you gather together your ears. <laughs> Sounds very uh, barbaric, <laughs> um, but apparently that means all in one go. Now, what's the ranking? Uh, it doesn't have a ranking, so it's a relatively rare expression. Ah, oh, I don't have any money. Datara, if that's the case, deru toko, so that's deru tokoro, so the place where it comes out. Detemora, I'll have you take it out. So pretty much, I'll you know I'll make it come out. This mode is already super interesting. Lots of character music. This is the one you want to play. Maybe. Oh, Roshi-sama. Ah, Roshi-sama. That, they called me Roshi-sama. That's interesting. But that's definitely not the whole name. Oh right, because you can create your own name, whatever you want it to be. So it would just be the last part, the Roshi-sama, right? <laughs> What? It's like total like foreigner speech. Right, like that's not like correct pitch accent, right? <laughs> so, so that's very strange. But this guy, it's more always uchi de, so at my place, and then kui nige suru, so he runs and eats. So he eats and runs. <laughs> Oh man. So this is super interesting because I'm not personally a huge defender of saying to learners that you must study pitch accent and the rules and everything because personally I believe it's much more important to just listen to how it's said 
and say it the way it's said. And that's it. <laughs> you don't really need to remember any rules. It's very simple. How is something said? Say it that way. Um, however, this does show that um, sometimes if you maybe perhaps don't have a great ear and you can't really pronounce the, th the way things are said, the way you hear them, then you may end up sounding like this <laughs> if you just kind of say it however you want um, with all kinds of different pitch accent. Here we have <laughs> a very funny example of pitch accent going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a weird pitch accent. Um, so he wants me to tell him off. Mama, Yokaro. All right, I'll tell him off. Yokaro. <laughs> yeah. Yamete kurechi. Please don't do it. Stop. All right, I'm gonna fight the guy that ran away and stole food. Samo Haka. Whoa, I got way more moves than this one. Jeebus. All right, what if I move? Oh, this is the one. This has such cool music. No, no, I'm going to lose. I lost? What? So ste Kono Kempua Aeni Sono Nao Kishisata. I got an ending? That's it. The name disappeared forever. What a way to end. <laughs> oh no, I got game over. Ah, oh, well. So I think that does kind of show you a general, you know, balance of, of the different, you know, the three different types of this game. Um, I would definitely say if you want to try out the trial, highly recommend the robot story first. Um, I probably would not recommend the ninja. I would put it as robot first kung fu and then the ninja last um the ninja's one is going to be pretty tough now that being said i haven't played you know um i've only played as much as you just saw so you know there's obviously a lot more to explore and there's a lot more language but i think this video gives you a general overview of what this game is like from a learner's perspective um a couple of quick notes that i will say is that it is a really fun game it's cool it's interesting it's cute i really like the uh, the art style and the music is really cool um however for a language learner, it's certainly not going to make any kind of recommended lists or anything. I was actually waiting for this game to come out so I could make the Switch tier list video. However, after playing this, I'm not sure that it's going to make the cut, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, there are so many good games on the Nintendo Switch for learning Japanese with. Uh, this may be just more about one of those like low, if you're interested, cool, but it's not necessarily good for a language learner um it's quite difficult but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any games you'd like me to check out please leave a comment down in the comment section below i would love to see what you have uh, for suggestions for games for me to check out now what i'm going to be doing is i'm actually going to be trying to do this a lot more frequently um i'm trying to make videos that are a little bit less editing into int intensive because some of the videos that i've been doing like uh you may not be aware but the vocab video actually takes around about 50 hours plus <laughs> just to edit. Uh, it's a really long time to edit those vocab videos. Um, so I just figured that, hey, you know, if I could kind of give a similar thing, but in a more relaxed package, then that might be something worth doing and exploring and now that i'm on holidays for a couple of weeks a little bit more than a month um finally i'll be able to actually work a little bit more full time on the videos so i hope you guys enjoy everything that's coming with this channel and if you have any kind of videos that you personally love then feel free to let me know in the comments section below if you like this video make sure to like subscribe and if you're really enjoying the channel then consider joining us on patreon come support us and say hi in the game gango discord so as always thanks so much guys for watching and i'll see you all again next time see ya